So you'll be joining an episode of The Fugitive. Richard Kimball is right in front of you. Dr. Richard Kimball, the man accused of murdering his wife, is now working for some sort of uh, delivery warehouse of electronic equipment. And he's in the parking lot. It was just a harmless little joke. I, I didn't mean to imply that Ginny was playing around. Now look, I'm not discussing my wife with you. Listen, we're old friends. We grew up together. We're bound to run into each other once in a while. Of course, if, uh, if people are going to talk, obviously we're going to have to be a little more discreet. So I'm going to put it on fast forward here. Obviously, Richard Kimball sees this event. The man that fell is dead. It's a murder. Although the one who drove away, uh, actually Mr. Kimball's boss, doesn't realize that he actually killed the man by that little fight. So we're going to fast forward it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a doctor. No signs of life. Oh my goodness. And I'm wanted for murder. And here's a man that's been murdered. I'm getting the heck out of here. Goodbye. Now along comes Mr. Tibbet! T-I-B-B-I-T! -B -B -I Mr. Tibbet! Who is just kind of like a, an alcoholic or a, a homeless man or something and he just sees the opportunity to uh, collect on this murder. So, Mr. Kimball, Dr. Kimball, is going to report the crime. He's not really sure exactly the status of the man, but he is dead. Okay, now he goes back to his place of work, tries to act like everything is normal, but it's not normal because he witnessed a murder. But that innocent man came along and robbed the body. He took his wallet. He took his possessions. Now this is the store detective. Nobody's aware there's a murder yet. But he's just asking questions because he's concerned about theft in the store. And he doesn't like people that steal. So obviously this new worker, Mr. Kimball, Dr. Richard Kimball, is suspect to be possibly stealing things.
Now there's a murder! Did you hear? JFK has been assassinated! No, that's not the murder. Oh, we're going to watch it on TV now. The president was shot in Dallas, Texas. No, wait a minute. What's the name of the man that they think was a murderer? Tibbets! T-I-B-B-E-T-T-S. Tibbets. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Kimball knows. He had no part in the killing, but police point out that he was found near the scene with Mr. Pasco's watch and billfold in his possession. Now here's a look at the weather. Okay, now watch how many times the newspaper will have the name Tibbet. Watch how many times newspapers will flash in front of your eyes. Now you're viewing this on December the 3rd, 1963. December the 3rd, 1963. Okay. The JFK hoax was November 22nd, 1963. Now you're sitting at home, you're watching one of the most popular television shows, The Fugitive. Now watch how many times the newspaper. Tibbets! Next address, ask yourself, is he worth the risk? Okay, so it all involves a murder. It involves trying to get all the facts right. And that leaves us to none other than the JFK hoax. Do you got your facts right? I said, do you got your facts right? Thirty miles west of Dallas. Just a few minutes before this report, we heard from one of our newsmen in Dallas on the scene, James Kerr, who said that a Dallas policeman, J.D. Tippett, was shot to death by an unknown man in a car minutes after the president and Governor Connolly were shot. The officer was shot about two miles from the scene of the presidential assassination. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of discussion later on about Officer Tippett. And was he a hero, or was he involved in the actual plot of assassination? So Tibbet is going to be a topic of discussion that will be occurring.
And then of course later on all those who are involved in trying to get all the details of JFK assassination will bring up the name of Tippett. So what am I getting at? Well, it's just a subconscious play to get a name in front of people. Come on. Tibbets. To Tippet. Officer Tippet. Gonna have a tip for you. Take the B. Becomes a P. So people are watching this and subconsciously they're connecting it with JFK hoax. Remember the JFK hoax just happened. So is Officer Tippett guilty or innocent? Was he a hero, or was he in on it? Did Tibbet murder a man, this homeless man, this drunk? Now, Richard Kimball, right in front of you, he knows he didn't do it. He knows that the man that stole the wallet off the body and the watch and all of the possessions didn't do it so what I'm trying to get at sort of indirect beating around the beating around the bush is it's all just part of programming subconsciously officer Tippet and Tibbet in the fugitive. Well, Mr. Kimball, you don't have to keep running because we're on your side. We know it's a frame job. Framing the real guilty parties are the ones who create these stories and ingratiate them into the minds of people so that very few individuals ever pull out of the hoax lie system. I hope I've helped just a little bit to bring down the hoax lie system. Thank you for watching. End of video.